Hello, and thank you for viewing this video detailing how to connect a programmer debugger to a PIC microcontroller or DSPIC digital signal controller. As you will see, this is a fairly straightforward process that can easily be implemented on a simple breadboard with a few passive components. First, let's cover some of the basics. A programmer debugger is the means by which the user can transfer code or application firmware they have developed in a PC program such as MPLAB IDE into a microcontroller's program memory. Data is transferred in a .hex file format that conveys binary information representing specific instructions to the microcontroller or digital signal controller. Microchip Technologies debugging and emulation line consists of three products ranging from the very inexpensive Picket 3 all the way up to the high-performance MPLAB Realize in Circuit Emulator. Note that as functionality and performance increases, so does cost. For the purposes of this presentation, we will discuss the PICIT-3 and ICD-3 in Circuit Debuggers. Note that both development tools connect to the target application with a very different connector. The PICIT-3 connects via a simple 6-pin male connection header. Traces on the PCB further connect the header to the PIC MCU or DSPIC DSC, completing the communication line. The ICD3, on the other hand, utilizes a common RJ11 type of connector. Note that the ICD3 and the MPLAB Realize shown earlier connect using the same connector. Most development boards manufactured by Microchip will connect using one of these two connectors as shown here. Now that we have seen the basic connectors, let's discuss how we would find the information detailing connectivity to the MCU or digital signal controller. This information is easily found on Microchip's corporate homepage at www.microchip.com. Simply type into the search field the particular MCU or digital signal controller your application will use. The search engine will locate the link to the particular device's homepage. The device datasheet can be located in the download section towards the bottom of this page. Within the datasheet, navigate to the section outlining Microchip's proprietary in-circuit serial programming or ICSP technology for an overview. Regardless of the programmer debugger connector used, these pins shall remain the same on the microcontroller or digital signal controller. To locate the connection schematic for the particular program or debugger you are using, navigate to the specific tools homepage. In this example, we will look at the ICD3. On the ICD3's homepage, locate the user's guide in the downloads section. Open the document and locate the standard connection target circuit. As you can see here, this particular circuit simply uses five connection lines and a single resistor. Let's now take a look at how we would implement this circuit. The hardware we will need include the programmer debugger of choice, shown here as the PICIT3, a target device such as a DSPIC 33FJ32 MC202 digital signal controller, and a few passive components, including a resistor, two capacitors, and finally, the corresponding connector for the PICKIT 3, a 6-pin male header. So let's begin. There are six connections on the PICKIT 3 connector. These connections correspond to pins on the DSPIC digital signal controller, as shown here. Using either traces on a PCB or wires on a solderless breadboard, we first connect the supply pins on the digital signal controller to the PICKIT3 header. VDD is the positive supply and VSS the common or ground connection. Note here that a 0.1 microfarad capacitor has been added to ensure a stable supply on the VDD pin. You may have noted that the PICKIT3 programmer debugger can also be used to power the circuit. For more information on this, please refer 
to the user's guide for Microchip's MPLAB IDE. The PGE D1 pin is the data channel for Programming Debugging Communication Channel 1. Many devices will have multiple channel pins that can be used for this purpose. This provides the designer with a level of flexibility. Similarly, PGEC1 is a clock input pin for Programming Debugging Communication Channel 1. Finally, the Master Clear or MCLR pin is connected. This pin is also pulled to the VDD supply voltage using a resistor. This master clear pin is an active low external reset for the device. Some devices will have an on-chip voltage regulator that allows lower voltage core operation to run off of a much higher VDD supply voltage in applications that operate at higher voltages. A capacitor is required to be connected to the VCAP VDD core pin on the device to help maintain stability of the regulator. At this point, the digital signal controller is now ready to be programmed or debugged. It's important to note that these connections are very similar for microcontrollers and other devices in the digital signal controller family. For more information, always refer to that particular device's datasheet. For questions or comments on this or any video tutorial, please contact Microchip's academic program at academic at microchip.com. Also, be sure to visit our website at www.microchip.com forward slash academic. Thank you.